We are in the kitchen with Amy Ridgel from the Savory Whisk. Her job is that she teaches people how to cook, <laughs> and you have got this wonderful recipe to share with us today. Yes, I mean, what better on a cold, rainy day than a nice creamy soup, a nice comforting bowl of soup? So what, we, um, what we're starting with, a lot of folks go into the supermarket and they're like, this looks daunting. Like, what it's do we- It's giant. Yes, and what do we do <laughs> with this? What do we do? So what you do, bring it home, um, you're gonna cut it in half lengthwise. This is the hardest part of the recipe. It's a super simple recipe. This is the only difficult part. So you wanna cut it in half. Um, you can even put it in the microwave for like two minutes to soften it up if you need to. When you cut it in half, you're gonna have this little pocket and there are gonna be some seeds in there, just like a pumpkin, and you just scoop those out. We're done with the seeds, get rid of those. Or you can save them and crisp them up for a snack. Oh, okay. Just like pumpkin seeds, yes. And so we're gonna scoop those out, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, goes in the oven for about 50 minutes to an hour, comes out all beautiful like this. Um, and then in the meantime, while that's cooking, you're gonna have some carrots, celery, we even put an apple in this Yum. soup. So it's full of nutrition, but at the same time, it's still hearty and comforting. Um, and then you're gonna scoop that flesh out, put it in your pot, and you're just gonna take a fork, it just pops right out. It's um, nice and just, soft after you've microwaved yes, it. Yes, and you can just eat it just like this, you Ooh. know, on a salad. Um, so we're going to put that in, saute that, and then what we're going to end up doing is pureeing the soup. So you can see here, it's a creamy soup. After we puree it, we're using coconut milk. Interesting. And instead of our normal heavy cream, so this is a little, um, it's a healthier, this is a healthier fat for us. So is that flavor or texture or what's the It doesn't, purpose? a lot of people ask that. They say, is it going to taste like coconut? It doesn't. You just want to make sure you get the unsweetened coconut. It Ooh. says here on the can. Um, and so we're going to put that in there, and that's just going to help us get that creamy texture we want. So this is a vegetarian and vegan recipe if you're entertaining, you know, folks sure. that, that don't want to do dairy. Right. It's good um, for everybody else, even if you're not vegan or vegetarian. Oh, absolutely. Yes, you're going to want to dive in. And then the way I love to serve it is we'll put a little here on the bowl, you know, and you can always have some nice, you know, crusty bread. And the steam coming off it nice yes. and warm. Yes. I love to serve it. Just some fresh chives, you know, fresh herbs always just really bring a dish um, together. So we'll set that there. And of course, everyone's going to want to dive in, dive into that. Again, if you don't have coconut milk on hand, you can totally make the recipe with your heavy cream or half and half, um, just whatever you know you have on hand. But take advantage of the winter squashes that are out there right now. They're delicious, um, just great for lots of creamy soups or like I said, put that on a salad I as love well. that. We're gonna put that recipe online at WBIR.com. Yes. But you have a relationship with the Glass Bazaar where people can actually come and take a class from you. Yes, yes, so the Glass Bazaar, their classes every month, lots of different classes um, that you can take. I'll be teaching in April and May. I'll do an herb class um, and then an Italian class. So who does love Italian food? So yes, they have lots of wonderful classes with lots of different chefs from all over Knoxville. Um, and then my business is the Savory Whisk, and I teach. Um, I was just telling you how I was teaching a little five-year-old yesterday <laughs> with amazing knife skills. Amazing knife Usually skills. Usually don't get a knife <laughs> and a five-year-old together. Trust them for their professionals. Yes, they're amazing. So that's always fun to be in um, with the kids and just different people, you know, in their homes and teaching them their knife skills, just how to do a cuisine they want to learn how to cook. And make a squash butternut bisque. Thank yes. you so much for coming yes. in, Amy. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, when we come back, we're going to check out your trending stories in the buzz.